everyone, my name is Anne-Marie Vo and I'm a designer with CraftsYourPrint.com. Today I'd like to show you how to make one of my new vintage pocket tag cards and it's a kit. This is the design that we're going to be making. It's the Just For You Mother's Day card kit. As you're looking at the finished sample, we can go to look at what's in the kit. This is one of the sheets that you'll be able to print off. This is the front of the pocket. The cup number is 399734 underscore 10. In the kit you get five sheets plus a full photo tutorial and written instructions. You get the pocket front, the back of the pocket, a sheet of backing paper, the actual cards for the go inside the pocket and the back of the pocket. So I'm going to show you how to put it all together and make a pocket card kit. So by the magic of screen I've cut everything out so that it's a little bit easier for me to put it together. So I'm going to start off with the pocket front. Now the tools that I've used to make the pocket card, I've used my cutter and um, used it to make the folds as well, double sided tape, um, wet glue, you might prefer to use foam pads or something, bone folder and my scissors. So we're going to start off with the actual front of the pocket. So I've cut it out and you'll see that there's flaps around the edge of the outline. So with these we're going to score them along the edge to get a nice clean fold like so using my bone folder. If you just run it down the uh, scorer a couple of times it will save breaking the fibres in the paper, it will just give you a nice crisp fold line. So that's all three of those. Now just for quickness, I've already actually put tape on the back. Normally I would have used um, a wet glue, a good strong one to give it a good seal. So we've folded those over like so, so that we have that. Now we're going to take the back of the pocket, which is actually for the inside of it, like so, and that will slide like that, so that the flaps go to the back of that, and it will just slightly bow a little bit, giving a little bit of distance between the back of the pocket and the front because you want room to be able to slide in your pocket card. So I'll turn that over and I'm going to start with the bottom flap. And as I say, you might want prefer to use wet glue. So I'll slide that up to the score line that we've just done, fold that over, peel the tape from the sides. Now as I say, it's going to bow slightly but you want to be able to have that room to be able to slide your pocket in, uh, tag in. So that's that. So that's how it looks at the moment. Now the back looks a little bit untidy. So the back section that you've cut out is going to go neatly over the flaps to cover them like so. Again I've put tape on mine just for quickness. So what you'll do is you'll marry it up corner to corner to cover the flaps and to the sides like so. Press it down and then it's all covered. If for any reason your folds are a little bit out or you don't actually catch the line, you could ink around the edges just to turn in. So there we've got the pocket. 
and now we're going to make the actual inside for the pocket so we've cut the two halves out like so and they're just going to go back to back okay now I've put tape on mine for, again for quickness but I would use a wet strong glue normally now before we stick them together we need to make the ribbon pulp for the top and on the tutorial instructions I've put down if you want to cut out a piece from the backing paper that's approximately four inches by an inch and a half so you'll cut that and you'll fold it in half and using the good strong glue or tape stick it together so it's just folded in half and then just to break the fold a little bit I run my bone folder along it just to get a smoother edge and just to get a little bit of movement into it and I curl it over like so so if we just literally do that and if you can see as I bring it round like that just to form a loop so I've previously done that and that's ready to put into the between the sections so I take the top of the front of the tag and I'm roughly going to place that in the middle I think it could be about there working backwards like so so I firmly stick that down and then I'm going to place the back of the tag on as well like so marry it up whoops just hold it up to marry it up oops now unless you've got a die cutting machine sometimes you are going to get a little bit of overhang so you might have to trim the edges so press that firmly down and that's your card with the loop so to finish it off I can put my card into the pocket see you've got the extra room where it bowed a little bit now it doesn't look so odd when you've put the middle in now I've also included two bows I'm only going to use one because I just think that it, it it looks nice with one however there's two if you want to decoupage them I'm going to use a wet glue just to add it to the front like so there we go so that's the finished pocket kit I've also made a few samples of the pocket kit using ribbon as well as the actual paper ribbon so you could embellish them or use anything on the front just to give it your own unique touch so I'd like to thank you very much for watching I hope you've enjoyed this cut TV and I hope you like my pocket kits thank you very much and I'll see you again